Okay, so this is a parallel circuit practice problem um, that you have to work. And so I thought I would go over. Let's just talk a little bit about how this works and what we would expect, all right? So we have three resistors. They are in parallel. So we know the voltage across each branch is going to be 12 volts. And I would like to um, find the current in each branch and the total current. So there are a couple of ways to do this and I'll start by just showing you um, one approach to doing this. Obviously you're going to have the total flow of current out and then it's going to split. Part's going to go down this branch and part's going to continue on. Then part's going to peel off down this branch and then part is going to continue on. So let's just think a little bit about what we expect. Um, this branch has the highest resistance and this branch has the lowest resistance. Remember that electrons are going to take the path of least resistance. So I expect that this current in the 4.7 kilo ohm branch will be highest. So let's start by finding the equivalent resistance or the total resistance and it's going to be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 all to the minus 1, all right? So that's going to be R total is equal to 1 over 8,200 plus 1 over 6,800 plus 1 over 4,700. All of that to the minus 1. So let me plug that into my calculator. I'm not sure how well you can see the calculator, but we'll give it a whirl. So 1 divided by 8,200 plus 1 divided by 6,800 plus 1 divided by 4,700. And now I need to do the inverse of that. And I get an equivalent resistance of 2,075. 2,076. All right, so RT is equal to 2,076 ohms. All right, so I'm going to kind of box that out so I can find it later when I'm looking for it. All right, and that number you'll notice is smaller than the resistance of any one of those components. That's what we expect in a parallel circuit. So now let's go ahead and find the total current. The total current can be found from Ohm's law. V equals IR. All right, so that means that I is equal to V over R. So the total current is going to be equal to 12 volts divided by the total resistance. And now we'll solve. So back to our calculator, 12 divided by, and that's the answer from before, and I get, it looks like about 5.78 milliamps, or 0 0.00578 amps, all right? So that's also, I'm going to box it in so I can find that piece later, okay? Alright, now, so if I go back then and I want to figure out the individual currents, I can just use Ohm's law because on each branch, across the branch, the potential is the potential of the source, 12 volts. So, it's V equals I times R again, so I here is going to be V divided by R, here V divided by R, and here V divided by R. So, we'll use... Um, I1 is equal to V divided by R1, and that's going to be 12 divided by 8,200 ohms. I2 is going to be V divided by R2, and that is um, 12 divided by... 6,800 ohms. And then finally I3 is going to be equal to V divided by R3. 
and that's going to be 12 divided by 4,700 ohms. Okay, so I'll go back to my calculator and um, punch those all in. All right, um, 12 divided by 8,200. 0.00146 amps and 12 divided by 6800 0.00176 amps and 12 divided by 4700 is 0.00255 amps all right so i have those individual numbers and now what I would like to do is just um, double check my work. And so to double check my work, what I'd like to do is just add those up. Because if I have everything done correctly, um, what I should see is that if I add this number, this number, and this number up, I should get IT. All right, so let's plug those back in. and I got point zero zero five seven seven. So when I added them all up, I got point zero zero five seven seven amps. That's awfully close to the total amps I got, so I feel pretty good that that's right. Also, when I look at these, the branch that had the lowest resistance has the greatest current. So looks like I probably got it right. Thanks so much. Have a great one.